Hey, this is Ema with Nextwave STEM and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your designs ready to print. This tutorial is specifically for the Ender 2 Pro printer. Let's say we have this design that we are ready to print. We are going to select export. Here you want to be mindful of these two options. You can export everything in your design or you can select specific objects that you want to print. We are going to select download as .stl file. From here, you may be tempted to add this file onto your SD card and put it in the printer, but 3D printers cannot read STL files. We must first slice our design to get a G-code file. This G-code file is the instructions our 3D printer needs to be able to print your design. Let's say I have a second design I'd like to print at the same time. We will also download this as an STL file. At Nextwave STEM, we like to use AstroPrint to slice our designs. It is a free web-based slicer. After you navigate to AstroPrint, sign up for a free basic account. After successfully making an account, we are brought to this landing page. We will now add our printer model, filament material, and default printing settings to our saved settings. This will make the future slicing process go much more smoothly. Let's start by adding our printer model. We will navigate over to Printer Profiles. Here we create a new printer profile. For Manufacturer, select Creality 3D. For Printer Model, select Ender 2. There is not an Ender 2 Pro option, but the only difference between the Ender 2 and Pro is the printing plate size. The Ender 2 Pro has a slightly smaller plate, but this should be fine as most designs do not extend to the very edge. Add to Printer Profiles and we are good to go. Next, we will go back to the home page to add our filament material. Head over to Material Profiles. It should show your Ender 2 printer. Select Add Material Profile and then Create Custom Profile Material. You can name this Standard Filament Ender 2 Pro. You can leave the next two settings as they are. Under Extruder Temperature, input 200 degrees Celsius. Under bed temperature, input 60 degrees Celsius. Select create and this should bring you back to your material profiles. Under your Ender 2 printer, you should now see our standard filament Ender 2 Pro. Finally, navigate back to the home page and select my slicer settings. Select new slicer profile. Under choose printer profile, you should see Ender 2. And for choose your material profile, you should see your standard filament Ender 2 Pro. Select Add Slicer Settings. Let's name these slicer settings Default Ender 2 Pro. We will be changing only a handful of settings here. First, under Layers and Perimeters, let's change the shell thickness to 0.8 millimeters. Next, go to Infill. Infill density we will change to 10%. Next, we will go to Support Material and change plate adhesion to raft. Navigate to filament and make sure print bed temperature is 60 degrees Celsius. We can now save these settings. Under Ender 2, you should now see our default slicer settings. Navigate back to home page and we are now ready to upload and slice our design. We head over to our design library. Select upload and this is where we upload our two STL files. When uploading is complete, choose one of the designs and select Build Plate. Here make sure Ender 2 is selected. AstroPrint will show you a workspace that is sized to the print plate of the Ender 2. But remember, we are using the 2 Pro, and so our actual plate will be slightly smaller than this one here. So try not to make prints that reach the edges and you should be fine. Your design must fit inside this area. Select the object and you can move it around and resize it. I typically resize an object according to the z-axis. So this will be how tall the object is in real life in millimeters. If you want to print multiple designs in one session, you can press this plus sign and you can add any other design that is in your design library. Right now I have two designs in my library. I am going to add the second design to my build plate. 
Best practice is to place the objects closer to each other on the plate to save time while printing. When you are satisfied with your build plate, select print and this will prompt you to name your build plate. Select save and you will be brought to this page. On the left you will see a model of your build plate. On the right you will see some familiar settings. Printer profile should be Ender 2. Material profile should be standard filament Ender 2 Pro. And finally under print quality you should select our pre-saved default Ender 2 Pro settings. You should see that support is now on and fill density was switched to 10%. We are finally ready to slice. Again, you may be tempted to press print, but instead you should select slice. You will be taken back to your design library and after waiting for your design to be sliced, you should see that your build plate now has one print file ready. Select the build plate and this side menu should appear. Here we can see our G-code file. These are the instructions we need for the printer. You can also see an estimate of how long it will take to print this design. Select the three dots next to the G-code file and download. This is the file you will now upload onto the SD card and put into the printer. And there you have it. You are ready to print. Thanks for following along and good luck with printing. I will see you in the next tutorial.